For a whole generation of gamers, the Gears of War franchise is like one of those super violent movies you'd stay up to watch late at night as a kid with the volume turned all the way down so your parents didn't hear you rotting your brains with guts and gore. It's a testosterone-fueled guilty pleasure, with muscle-bound barking soldiers quite literally cutting through hordes of underground enemies with chainsaw bayonets. And if that doesn't get the young 13-year-old kid in you amped up, I don't know what will, other than ketamine and maybe Mountain Dew Code Red. One of the most satisfying parts about chainsawing your way through these hordes is that they're gross. Look at them. They look like someone mashed up a rhino and a shark and shoved them in a microwave, and that's what crawled out. These things are nasty and creepy and all of the above, and the hordes in Gears 5 are no exception. So the next time you're tramping through a burned out city or wading through subterranean sludge in the newest Gears installment, Here's a few of the ugly, creepy crawlies you should be on the lookout for. I'm Wes Malik from Segment Next, and here's what you need to know. Snatcher. These Lovecraftian nightmares first appeared in Gears of War 4, and while their appearance may be a repeat, it doesn't diminish how frightening they are. For instance, if you didn't know, here's a fun fact. Snatcher's main method of attack is a barbed tail they use to incapacitate and stun prey. Usually that prey is a human being, and usually what happens to that human being isn't just getting stunned. The Snatcher will drag that human being into their stomach. After that, they'll take the human to the nearest pod and turn them into a juvie, a half-swarm, half-human thrall that's not clearly as cute as it sounds. If you find yourself ensnared by a Snatcher, you better hope you've got good friends or a really big truck around to take care of it for you. Otherwise, well, I'll try and write, but I don't think juvies can read. Juvies. Which is a good thing because I'll be talking about them right now, so hopefully they don't watch YouTube either. Juvies, like Snatchers, aren't new to the Gears series. They were first introduced in Gears 4, but there's something about their origins that, to me, makes them creepy enough to put on the list. Like I mentioned before, these guys aren't just regular swarm. They're half-human, half-swarm hybrids that were once normal, everyday people like Joe Biden, who then were kidnapped by the underground evil mole people and mutated into mindless servants. One of the major differences between them in Gears 4 and Gears 5, though, is now there are different types of Juvies or to be specific, one other type, though that still counts. This new type is the Popper, so named for two reasons. They're the grandchildren of Orville Redenbacher, and they're the new swarm kamikaze units. They come armed with bolo grenades, and their sole mission in life, other than spreading the good word of their grandfather's buttery goodness, is to come as close to you as humanly possible and then explode. So warm flock. You know, sometimes when I go outside during the summer, I can find the amount of mosquitoes pretty annoying. I just want to have a nice time sitting on my roof, drinking a beer, but all these little assholes can do is bite me over and over and make me regret ever coming out of my house in the first place. After hearing about the swarm flock, I don't know if I can really ever complain about mosquitoes ever again. The Swarm Flock is a new addition to the Gears franchise, and it's absolutely horrifying. It's a group of swarm leeches who, when attacking a human or humans, will burrow into their targets and either explode or rip them to shreds like parasitic knives. You either get detonated or cheese grated. I don't know which is worse. I'd rather pick neither, so I'll stick with mosquitoes and wish anyone who runs into these little nightmares good luck. Warden. Because they're a relatively new addition to the Gears franchise, not much is known about this specialized swarm class. What we do know is that they appear to be squad leaders and advanced scouts who are responsible for leading groups of this swarm to new locations in order to turn those new locations they happen to find into a hive. Fun facts about Wardens. They're armed with two breaker maces, and their average height is reportedly 6 foot 10, same height as NBA superstar Kevin Love. So, you know, I don't know if that helps you unless you're a Cleveland fan. And even if you are, I still don't know how that would help. But if it does, I'm happy. And if it doesn't, I apologize. The Matriarch. If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy, is a phrase that comes to mind with this new Gears 5 boss. Although to make it a bit more accurate, you could say, if mama ain't happy, she's gonna sniff you out and beat you to death. That's probably a little bit more fitting for this particular lady. The Matriarch is, according to Gears 5 lore, the original Berserker. 
a she-devil concocted on the mountain Kadar laboratory by COG scientists who wanted to study the effects of emulsion on human beings. Of course, the experiments were a success. They developed a vaccine against emulsion mutation, and everyone went home safe. No, 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 not really. Actually, not really. The swarm ended up busting out their matriarch and taking her to a secure underground location, preserving this mama bear until she'd be needed, which in Gears 5 she is. When you come across this boss, remember that blister on her back, the big glowing weak spot? It's exactly what it looks like, a big glowing weak spot. Draw her into the ice cold water of her cave, which will stun her and you should be able to shoot her in the back. Do this enough times and it won't matter how happy mama is. She'll be dead. Whew. That's enough creature killing for today. Venture forth, my children, and slay the swarm or die trying. Thanks for tuning in to segment next. I'll talk to you in the next video.